Welcome to Besiege Bots, the real home of robotic combat in Besiege. Today we begin Wrapped Away Requiem, and like Antweight Armageddon before it, it is being held in celebration of the Wrapped Away class before we retire it for the newest streamlined format in the 2021 tournament season. We'll have some of the builder's favorite bots and some of the top leaderboard bots facing off in a 16 bot single elimination bracket with the last bot standing being granted the title of Wrapped Away Requiem Champion. To help you guys follow along for this tournament and all tournaments going forward, we've made a graphic that shows the bracket at the beginning and end of each episode, which will help more with the tournaments that see randomized opponents like the upcoming Middleweight Mayhem 2020 that will immediately follow this tournament on the channel. Now that all the preamble is out of the way, we can dive right into the first fight as we see a rematch of the teams that made Summer Slamathon Super Heavyweight Final, the Diddlers vs Team Yeedior. And we're underway with fight number one for Wrapped Away Requiem as we see two control bots here in Charger and Migraine. Charger is the top bot all time in the Wrapped Away class, even beating out bots such as Big Tooth, which we'll see later in the tournament. But uh, Migraine, a very solid control bot and actually really good at beating other control bots, whereas Charger is more designed for beating up spinners and is a little outdated design wise considering it doesn't have a blade wedge setup which is much more common in modern bots so we see charger migraine seems to be getting the better of getting under here but charger being driven quite well Ooh, really good there somehow managed to get the blades kind of stuck on top of the plows generally won't see that happen too often Migraine seems to have slightly bouncier drive, while Charger isn't bouncing around as much. Much smoother turning. Migraine got a lot of forward propulsion. They're really just kind of jockeying for position. Migraine seems to be trying to get around to the sides, but it's really just giving up its own side to Charger. And Charger getting into the swing of things here with a really nice pin against the wall there on Migraine. We'll see if Migraine can get back into this fight, but right now I think Migraine a little behind. Some good driving there from Team Meteor's driver. Oh, but they've given up the side again. They're really trying to get their long uh, tip in behind the plows and come in from the side on Charger, but they're really just giving up their own side and getting the side of their own blade pushed by Charger's plow wedge. Whereas if they went straight from the front, I think they'd have a slightly better advantage. We saw them getting under quite a bit in the early going when they were doing that. There's a nice flip from Migraine. It's been a while since it got some real offense in. Maybe they're trying to account for their bounciness in the drive. Charger doing a really good job staying all over Migraine, really. This fight, interestingly, being done in the big arena that is usually used for the lightweights and above, but uh, for some reason was decided to be used for the Raptor Weight tournament. I think to create a bit more fun with the vertical spinners and the uh, horizontals, which can hit quite hard and throw each other around a lot. Migraine got flipped. A little bit there, but got a nice self right fairly quickly. Did take a flying block off of Charger, which could make a difference here because that will win them damage 6 4 kind of by default because they've taken no damage and Charger has taken at least some damage. But Charger, I think, is generally winning a lot of these wedge trades and just pushing Migraine around. Charger still getting to the side. Migraine got a little bit in there, but wasn't able to get a flip. Charger stuck on that rotating play. Nice flip there from Migraine, and they stay underneath. Migraine might want to look for a pit KO here, or maybe even an Uda, but I don't know if they have the potential that Uda bots. Their flipper doesn't seem quite powerful enough. We're coming down to the final seconds here. And Charger is 
kind of let Migraine get behind there, and that's going to be the fight. I'm not sure. Charger wins on aggression, loses out on control, which seems crazy to me. Migraine takes the win 23-22. I don't know if I agree with that, but Migraine wins and Charge is eliminated, so that's the favorite out of the competition already. get things underway in our second match as we see black box hanging out in the corner waiting for d2 to come to it so black box is a completely autonomous robot it has been entered by style and substance robotics but they are really only controlling it in so far as not making it drive over the hazards the bot is doing all the driving itself. All those things you can see on top are sensors that it automatically spins in place to try and find the other bot, and once it does, it will just push them directly forward and then try and relocate them to push them. And you can see D2 not winning the wedge battle due to the downforce engine on Black Box. D2 slides over the top there, maybe could have got in under those back wedges, but Black Box straight back around, all over D2. D2 getting pushed from the side and just unable to get away, it needs to just full retreat here, I think. There we go, but still, D2, the crunch bud's really struggling. Oh, getting close to those, uh, floor, uh, rods there, the hot rods which are a big problem for black box because if it drives over them its downforce engine will be destroyed and then its wedging capability will drop significantly fortunately that isn't happening oh a bit stuck on the rotating plate but manages to get under d2 and manual control probably hasn't been taken by style and substance robotics as they're stuck on the rotating plate there they go Managed to get themselves off, probably manual control for a second there, but D2 was trying to let them get counted out on the rotating plate, I think, because they realize they don't have much chance if Black Box gets off the rotating plate. There's a big pin here. D2 just stuck against the wall, couldn't get itself away. That was some manual control there. They intentionally didn't go near the hot rods on Style and Substance Robotics part. D2 trying to create space to try and get under the side of Black Box, maybe? It probably is their best bet at getting an out wedge, but Black Box relentless in its pursuit of D2 here. The cold machine AI pushing relentlessly as Style and Substance Robotics uh, driver was just laughing in the voice channel at during the match uh from what the uh competitors told me after the recording very not the most entertaining fight but incredibly dominant from black box oh <laughs> bit of shonky camera work there very bad camera work <laughs> someone fire this cameraman uh, D2 just stuck upside down and being relentlessly slammed into the, uh, roller there. Oh, D2 actually for a second there while upside down was kind of able because its blades are completely flat to the ground to out wedge Black Box, but lost it and Black Box just going back to pushing now. 20 seconds left, D2 has to find some- Oh, they got flipped back up the right way, which I think is actually worse for them. They had a better chance at getting something done while upside down. And just complete dominance from Black Box, other than that period where it was stuck on the rotating plate. We'll go to a decision, hopefully not another bad one like the first fight, we'll see how the judges saw that, and yeah, it's incredibly dominant for Black Box, a 13-2 in control, no damage done, D2 gets a, the style, pity style as we call it, but Black Box wins, D2's eliminated, so we'll see Black Box who has migrate in the next round. And 
now we begin fight number three. Hopefully gonna be our most exciting matchup thus far. So the first two matches, very much control fest between control bots. We have a reasonably powerful flipper for this weight class with Pearl, which is capable of getting Uders, and Boop is very capable of dealing damage. Back in, uh, ooh, Pearl almost threw itself up over the ramp and Uded itself there, so you can see the Uda potential is there. Uh, Boop almost pulled off one of the greatest comebacks in Besiege Bot's tournament history in Spring Bash Cup 2019, where the footage was unfortunately lost. It didn't actually win, but it did almost get a last second pit dunk to win the fight in the old Raptoid Arena. We'll see if it can do something similar here or just beat Pearl down for a KO. Pearl, ooh, struggling to self right here from Team Night Slash. Team Abaddon haven't entered too many tournaments in recent times, but competed, I believe, even as far back as the original Spring Bash Cup 2018. I can't remember what their bot was, but has been competing in Besiege bots for a long time. And Pearl, you can see, has very smooth drive. Ooh, that was a big hit from Boop. I think that may have caused some damage. Yeah, I think one of the steering hinges in the flipper is broken on Pearl. Ooh, rips a huge chunk out of Pearl there. And Pearl... Uh, ooh, it's driving again, but it was looking like it couldn't drive there for a second. Seems that side with the flipper is controllable. I'm not sure how controllable the other side is. It seems to just kind of be driving straight around the arena. Side with the flipper is definitely the side that is being properly controlled by Team Abaddon. Being completely split in half, it's impressive that they're staying in this fight. Boop. Gonna need at least one more big hit to try and get a KO. Oh, it seems the other side is now stuck from Team Abaddon. So Pearl in a lot of trouble here. I said this would hopefully be our most exciting match, and I think it has been thus far. Oh, Pearl... I don't think it can drive. I think it's too heavy on the one side. Oh, no, okay. They managed to save it. Good control from Team Abaddon, really, of their robot. Doing a great job controlling the weight balance to keep the hog on the ground and keep the bot moving. Boop just looking to take pot shots and hopefully get a KO. But not getting the cleanest hits just yet. Trying to really line up a big one here, I think. Oh, okay, good camera work yet again. I, I think we need a new camera. This is this is something. All right, there we go. Ooh, that was a nice hit from Boot. Ooh, that weapon is definitely struggling from Pearl. We just saw it. Playing. Ooh, and it gets thrown upside down, and the because of the way the weapon is broken, I don't think it can self right. I think that's gonna be it for Pearl. The other side of the robot seems stuck, and that's it. Boop gets the KO of victory. A little underdog victory for Boop. We'll see if they can go on a run in this tournament. Now we have the final matchup of today's episode, the last bot that we'll go through from this bracket, as we have Big Tooth against Dippy. Dippy, the winner of Spring Bash Cup 2019's Featherweight bracket, and beat out Big Tooth in that tournament, which was considered probably the biggest tournament upset to date at the time. Might still be the biggest tournament upset, honestly. Big Tooth, a massively powerful spinner with incredible Udo potential. Can probably pretty easily Udo a bot from the center of the arena. Ooh, almost got a clean hit on the back of Dippy there, but struggled to self right themselves while Dippy was upside down. 
Dippy, quite a tough bot for Big Tooth to attack head on though, as the geometry of the blades usually leads Big Tooth to tipping itself forward and then, ooh, that was a nice hit. They managed to ride up the blades with the wedges and then hit on the upper side and another nice hit there. Gonna look to maybe go for an Uda here. Ooh, just didn't quite get the bite they were looking for. Big Tooth, like I said, very powerful, very capable of getting an Uda in this matchup. But yeah, the geometry of Dibby's Blades often leads Big Tooth to dropping forward. And then, oh, Big Tooth struggling to self right. Could be getting counted out, but back over. The spinner, ooh, that's what I'm talking about. It tips itself onto its front. And then at times it can launch itself into the air rather than launching Dippy. And it's really tipping forward now. Possibly an issue with the weapon or the counter reaction wheel. But now it seems more stable. It's landing some good hits. Ooh, Dippy to the side gets a nice flip. Really good fight thus far. Dippy's got some good flips in. Ooh, Big Tooth landed a big hit, but I think broke its own weapon. Yeah, that weapon is no longer connected. It's trying to use the counter reaction wheel to self right. But stuck on its face, it's trying to get up, but it's struggling. And it's kind of stuck on the ramrods, driving around now. Oh, Dippy sticks it on the front again. And another nice flip from Dippy. Dippy all over Big Tooth now. This is not what Team Tooth wanted at all. They also haven't competed in a tournament since I believe Super Heavyweight Slaughter 2019, so... Welcome back to Team Tooth, but it's not the return they were hoping for. As Frogman Robotics are all over them. And Dippy looking to try and retain its crown as the Raptorweight slash Featherweight Champion. We saw the upgraded version enter SBC 2020 and I believe finished second to Wasted. No, no, Zap did. Dippy just dominating this last section of the fight, but Big Tooth gonna make it to a decision. We'll see if the work they put in in the early going was enough, but it's not. As damage goes heavily towards Dippy, control, aggression went to Big Tooth as well as style, but ultimately Dippy wins again, pulls off the upset a second time. Dippy moving on to the quarterfinals. That's it for this episode. Our four bots heading into the quarterfinals are Migraine, Black Box, Boop, and Dippy. Unfortunately, we also have to say goodbye to Charger, D2, Pearl, and Big Tooth. In the next episode, we will complete the round of 16. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you're interested in joining our community, follow the Discord link in the description. And from everyone in the BesiegeBots Discord, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you soon.